give that fan a contract. Some great moments have occurred throughout Oriole history, and Paul Blair was the man responsible for some of the best. For more than a decade, he gave us exciting baseball. Now he's stepping up to the plate for the Coppin State Eagles, a struggling college baseball team looking for leadership. Paul Blair is providing that leadership and the talent and inspiration that only a champion can, for he is going to bat one more time. Pirates pitcher Luke Walker is ready to work against the Orioles center fielder Paul Blair. With the count two balls and two strikes, the lefty Walker winds and deals. Cut on and ripped to left center field. It will drop for the base hit. Paul Blair singles to lead off the game. If you can imagine all your life you want to be a Major League Baseball player, and then all of a sudden you're a Major League Baseball player. And uh, whatever you're trying to do, whatever goal you're trying to reach, when you reach it, then that's just the ultimate feeling that you can have. Blair slides, he's safe at third base. It's not whether you win or lose, the old saying goes, it's how you play the game. In the summer of 1964, a man who knew how to play and win was called up to the Baltimore Orioles. His eye for the game of baseball impressed the team, and Paul Blair learned to call Maryland his home for the next 13 seasons. With a gold glove on his hand and a position in center field, Blair made the trip to the World Series four times with the Orioles, accompanied by the likes of Jim Palmer, Frank Robinson, and Brooks Robinson. Well, I started playing baseball when I was eight years old. Um, I've always, as long as I can remember, I always wanted to be a baseball player, a Major League Baseball player. Blair makes a sensational basketball. Well, my idol was Willie Mays. Uh, he was all my, always my idol, and um, when I was playing uh, in my park league in high school, I always made the basket catch. But uh, when I signed to play pro ball, I decided that I would go in with my own style. As I didn't want anybody to say I was just copying Willie. After seasons with the New York Yankees and the Cincinnati Reds, Blair put the glove and bat down and retired in 1980 with an impressive list of achievements, including five gold gloves and four World Series rings. Baseball was never far from his mind, however, and a chance conversation in a bowling alley brought Paul Blair back to Baltimore. And she was a bowling coach at Coppin State. Uh, one day in conversation, um, she asked me if I would speak at their awards banquet. And so I said, sure, I would be glad to do that for her because she did us a favor by filling in on our bowling team. And uh, then I asked her the question, I asked him, did Coffin have a baseball team? Because I didn't even know if they had a baseball team. And she said, yes, they did, and the coach was getting ready to retire. All right, let's go. The students at Coffin now refer to him as Coach Blair. And the former major leaguer now spends his time teaching the skills he spent almost three decades polishing himself. It's been more of a challenge for Coach Blair than anyone would care to admit. Coppin's baseball program does not strike fear into their opponents' hearts. But a new coach with a love of the game hopes to change all that. Hi, right, guys. It's time for us to start playing better than we're playing. Most of the things that we do wrong is because we don't prepare ourselves to make the right play. The biggest challenge right and now is field, to get us to play good. nine good innings of solid baseball. Um, the program when I took over, um, what they left me was 10 ball players, 10 ball players that had never played on, the, on their team before. Uh, we got three walk-ons and we were fortunate enough to finish out the season. With no baseball diamond to call their own, Coppin plays in the college's open fields or local parks. During the cold February weather, they retreat to practice in the Coppin Center, home to their successful basketball program. The ball may jump quickly on the wooden floors, but Coach Blair is working as much on fundamentals right, as he is better. speed and ball skills. Made up of mostly underclassmen, many of the players were born as Blair was completing his career, but the professional touch is still appreciated. He's given me the outlook from the professional aspect, because coming out of, out of high school, you know, we were being spoon-fed of everything. And he gives us, like, the, he treats us more like men. What I've heard about him and bits and pieces that you see on TV, 
I've, he's really impressed me with the way he's played and just picking up things that he knows and listening to the things he says, it really starts to sink in, especially come from somebody who's been to the show. Don't hit the coach. Okay. Woo! Thank goodness for the screen. Now that's a good swing. The reason you're hitting the ball now, Coop, is your body is slow. You're slow and you're trusting the hands. Anytime you come out here fast with the body, you're gonna miss the ball and your hands are gonna be slow and that's where you either throw the ball by you or you're gonna get jammed. Constant practice, earning a college degree and playing baseball from North Carolina to New York can prove to be a challenge for any student athlete. And for the Coppin Eagles, a 40 game schedule provides little room for rest. We played uh, William and Mary, we played Radford, uh, we're going to play Maryland, we played Georgetown, George Washington. I want to play good schools, I want to play better schools because that's the only way we're going to learn to play the game. One, two, three, come say! It's game day at Joe Cannon Stadium on the outskirts of Baltimore, where Coppin State College is hosting New York's Hofstra University. Freshman pitcher Steve Adair takes the mound. Adair performs admirably, and while hits are made and balls are caught, Coppin watches another victory slip from their grasp. Attaboy, Coop! The coach does not lose hope, however. For the heroes, managers, and years of playing that sculpted Paul Blair into a winner created a teacher as well. And to a teacher, losing hope is worse than losing a game. If you come to Compton, you will learn to play this game of baseball. I do believe I can teach. I've been there. I know what it takes to become a Major League Baseball player. If you have that talent, I can develop it. I would like Compton to be at the top of the baseball uh, world in college. I want them, any athlete that considers coming to Compton, they will know one thing for sure. One, they're a good, sound, fundamental team. You will graduate from Compton and you will be competitive. That's my goal.